loves what is up it's your girl ashika lee here back at it with another video and in this video we are doing a makeup look using the morphe 3502 second nature palette and let's have a moment of silence for this look y'all oh my goodness like i don't know what made me want to do this look but i'm happy i did it because i absolutely love it oh my goodness i wanted to get my hands on this palette so bad and I finally got it and this is the look that I came up with. Y'all know I don't really do bright looks like this, but this palette has a lot of bright colors in it. I wanted to try out those bright colors. So if y'all are interested in seeing how I got this look, then please keep on watching. So, eyebrows were already done off camera. I used the NYX Eyebrow Gel in the color Espresso. I take the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Medium Beige. It's like really, really, really light and I feel like this would be perfect for um you know making sure we get a clean canvas I'm just gonna blend that in and I kind of want this to be like an affordable um type of makeup tutorial because Morphe is very inexpensive and you know I want to keep it that way I want to keep this tutorial in that range so I'm going to be taking the Airspun um, setting powder that you can get at Walmart, Walgreens, anywhere. And I'm going to set my eyelids with this. The Morphe 3502 palette. I'm excited. I don't have the Morphe um, 350, but I have the Morphe 35W and a Morphe 35P. So I am very excited. So it comes like this and um, this one is the first palette where they actually have like the names. I'm just going to put it up here and when I get a chance I'm going to tape it up there just so that I can have like the names in order for you guys. Here's the palette. It's very pretty. It's a really nice range of color. So we're going to see how this goes. First we're going to take up Universal and apply this a little below our um, eyebrow. This isn't going to be on our lid or anything like that. So if you guys see where I'm applying it, I'm applying it literally right under my eyebrow. So because I really want to take this color up really high so that when I apply my lashes, like you can still see what's going on. And then we're going to go into this color right here called Spice. This shade we're actually going to apply as our transition shade. And I love the formula of these eyeshadows. They are very different from the um, from their other palettes. I don't know what they did, but it's much better. So we're just using windshield wiper motions back and forth. I'm pretty much just packing the color on. And I'm also bringing it right here because I want the color to show. I am going to cut my crease and I kind of want it to be like real dramatic. So I'm going to bring it just like a little bit in the color heat. And this is the shade that we're going to apply in our crease and on our outer corner of our eyes. This is the shade that pretty much gives our eyes that pop of color. It could actually be like really messy and bring this down here because we're going to clean that up when we apply our concealer. Next shade we're going to go into is this brown shade right here. This is in the color So Warm. This shade we're going to apply on the outer corner of our eye and kind of really indent this into the crease. With this shade, you want to go in like a circular motion. And while you're doing this, you want to take this into your crease. So we want to start from the outer corner and work our way into the crease. And then going back in with our brush, we're going to go into the color, this bright red color right here called Fire. And we're lightly, lightly, lightly going to apply this over pretty much everything just to brighten it up a bit. All right, so now that it's darkened up just a little, little bit, we're going to start cutting our crease the LA Pro Girl Concealer. All right, so now that that is done, I'm going to set my eyelids. 
we're gonna take this orange shimmery shade right here this is in the color sauce and we're gonna apply this on the inner part of the crease guys the pigment in these shimmers are so bomb like they literally just glide on red shimmery color and apply this to the outer corner of this crease And then we're just going to blend the two colors together. Next, we're going to go back in with the color So Warm and just blend out any harsh lines. Y'all know I love this. I'm going to take the NYX Angel Veil, Angel Veil Veil Primer on pretty much my T-zone areas. The number seven skin illuminator, this is in the color 12M, I think. So I'm gonna apply some on my flat brush and pretty much just paint this on my face over my primer. So now we're gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the color Classic Tan. And we're gonna apply it with the same brush. And now I'm gonna take the Real Techniques Instapop, Instapop Face Brush. Take the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer in the color Tan and my LA Pro Girl Concealer in Fawn. I'll let that set on my face for about two minutes and now I'm gonna blend this out. Alright, now I'm going to take the Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder in the color medium and set my under eyes with this and my Real Techniques Setting Powder Brush. Not only did I get the Morphe 3502 palette, but I got the Morphe 9C palette. So this is for bronzing. And I mean, I thought the shades were going to be a bit more warm tone mixed with cool tone, but I feel like they're mostly cool tone. So I'm going to take this brown shade and maybe this one and this one, and I'm going to uh, contour. All right, so I'm going to try a different brush. Not bad. I'm gonna go in with my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette and I love this. On top of that. All right, and to bronze up my nose, I'm gonna take the Black Radiance. I also got the Morphe 9B palette. So this is for blush and has a lot of pretty brush blush shades. So I'm gonna go in with the same brush that I used to apply my contour. And I think I'm gonna take this first, first shade right here. Boom, that is done. Now we're gonna go back to our eyes. All right, so we're gonna apply Heat and Spice. And I also think I'm going to go in a little bit of sauce and apply this closer here. Alright, so since this look is like real dramatic and I don't want to take away from the eyes, I'm just going to go in with my simple Ardell lashes. So while my lashes are drying, I'm going to apply my eyeliner. All 
I really just feel like bottom lashes completes the whole makeup look like. We're gonna take the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in the color Molten Gold. This is a very bomb and expensive highlighter, like, oh my goodness. All right, so we're gonna go back into Spice and apply this in our inner tear duct. So first, I'm gonna show you two types of lips that can go with this look. So we're gonna do a nude lip first, and this has been my favorite go-to nude lip combo. So I'm gonna take the NYX lip liner in the color Cappuccino and just line my lips with this. And now I'm gonna take the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color London. Now we're gonna set our face and I'm using the Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist and you can get this at Target. It has rose water and um, green tea in it and smell good y'all, smells really good. I'm actually gonna go in and darken up my beauty marks that I have that has that was covered up by my foundation. All right, so the other lip that you guys can possibly do is um, a burgundy lip. So I'm gonna take the Milani Liquid Lipstick in the color Adore and just apply this. And then next, I'm gonna go in with the Ruby Kisses Lipstick in the color Capri Orange, and I'm gonna apply this in the middle. This lip color is for my girls who are bold and bright and just don't care and just wanna go out there with all the colors and just be out there. This is for you guys right here. So you have the nude and then you have this bold color. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also comment down below, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video.